If you've ever tried to run a Minecraft server from your own PC, you might have realized that it can be quite complicated. The creation of the Minecraft server itself is not really a problem. The biggest problem is making it so that players can actually join your server. Because for that, you will need to do something that we call port forwarding, which essentially means accessing your router and opening up a port so people from outside can get onto your home network. But what if I told you there's a way to run a Minecraft server on your own PC and let other players join without you having to port forward at all? Well, there is. And it is called playit.gg. And today I'm going to show you how it works and how to set it up for yourself. Make sure to subscribe. You would help me out so much. Here we are on the playit.gg website. Forget about hosting companies. Use your own computer for free. Now, while they are right that you can host a micro server on your own PC without any port forwarding, most home networks don't have anything like DDoS protection. They also don't have the bandwidth to deal with hundreds of players. So do keep in mind that this might be a great option if you just want to have a Minecraft server with a couple of friends. But as soon as you want to start a big Minecraft server and you expect dozens of players to join, you might still want to opt for a hosting company. But that's not what we're here for today. I'm going to show you how to set up playit.gg. So a link to this website can of course be found in the description. Simply click on download and after that you need to choose your preferred platform but i'm on windows so i'm simply gonna click on windows installer and there we go it's downloading. You will see that it is a .msi file. You can just double click to install it. So it will say, hey, welcome, what's up? You can just click on next and then we're going to click on install. And there we go. That was really quick. Click on finish and you will be able to launch your program. As soon as you see this, you're good for now. So next up, we need to actually create a Minecraft server. Now you can choose whatever server variant you want. I would highly recommend getting Paper MC as it is just a lot more optimal than a vanilla Minecraft server and it can run plugins. So I will leave a link to this website in the description down below. Simply click on downloads. After that, click on paper and then you simply want to download the latest build. Now, after doing that, you also want to install Java. Nowadays, you don't need Java installed on your PC anymore if you want to run Minecraft. But if you want to set up a Minecraft server on your own PC, then Java is essential. We're simply going to scroll down a bit until you see the Windows installers. Though if you're using Mac or Linux, they also have a version available for those platforms. But we are simply going to click on this link for Windows. You're going to execute the file we just downloaded. And here you can just click on Next. Then we're going to click on next again. It will start installing for a bit. And there we go. It is literally that easy. After that, you want to create a Minecraft server folder and drag the paper.jar file we just downloaded inside. Now that we have Java installed, we can simply double click on this jar file and you will see that it starts generating some files until eventually you will see the eula.txt file. Now this file you want to open up because the eula is something you need to accept. So over here at the bottom where it says eula, you want to change false to true. Then save the file and double click the jar file once again. And this time you will see that the server actually pops up. You also have to accept a little Windows security thingy. Just click on allow and there we go. Our Minecraft server is officially open. Now I'm totally aware that for some people this doesn't work. If they double click the paper jar file, this server console will just not pop up. What can you do? Well, if that is the case for you, you want to create a bat file. The way you do that is first simply create a new txt file, aka a text document. Now this text document you want to name run. And inside of the text document, you want to write the following Java space minus symbol capital X MX and then the amount of RAM you want to dedicate to your Minecraft server. So 1G is one gigabyte, 2G is two gigabytes, 3G is three gigabytes, and the list goes on. I'm just gonna go for four, why not? Then you're gonna type a space again, minus symbol jar, once again a space, and then you wanna specify the file name you want to run. So in my case, that is this file, paper, lots of other letters, dot jar. You might wanna change this file name into something a bit more easy. So for example, just paper dot jar. So then we can type paper, dot jar over here and after that you want to press enter two times one two and then in caps type pause and there we go 
we're done. Now we're going to save this file, exit out. And then the last thing we want to do is rename run.txt to run.bet. So it actually becomes an executable file. And there we go. Now it should be a Windows batch file. And when we double click it, you can see our Minecraft server will open. First, it will just be a Windows terminal. And a little after that, it should also open your Minecraft server. That is perfect. So now that we have a Minecraft server, let's go back to the playit.gg program. And we're going to click on this link. And over here, you want to create an account. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm just going to use a guest account for now. So there we go. This is what you should see. A program would like to create a new agent on your account. Now here, you simply want to click on continue. And then you want to click on add agent. And there we go. So you should see that the first three steps are already checked off. So now we need to create a tunnel. Now here under use shared IP, you can select a region, at least when you're using the premium version of this program. If you're using the free version, you will only have access to global any cost, which is fine. So we're just going to leave that the same. And then the tunnel type, we're going to set to the game we want to play. So in my case, it will be Minecraft Java. But like you can see, you can also use this program for Bedrock servers, Valheim, Terraria, Starbound, or Unturned. So I'm going to go for Minecraft Java. And then we're going to click on Add Tunnel. And there we go. We are done. Like you can see, my local address, so the place where my server is currently being run on, is localhost and then port 25565, which is always the case by by default, then it is connecting to the closest data center to me, which in my case is Frankfurt. As I live in the Netherlands, Germany is very close, so this makes total sense. And now this will be my public IP address. So I can simply copy this IP, go in Minecraft, paste it in, click on done, and there we go. I'm able to connect to my server. Well, I'm not because I'm in the wrong version, but the server is working. All right, there we go. I'm back. I just installed VF version on the server, so I'm actually able to get in. But now I can just simply join. I'm playing on a Minecraft server that's running on my own PC. And this IP address you can now share with everyone and they will be able to get onto your server too without you having to port forward anything it is really cool now when we scroll down a little bit on the playits.gg website you will see an option called firewall now when you use the free version of this service you're only able to add a single firewall line now i would highly recommend you doing some research about firewalls because you are running this Minecraft server on your own PC, which essentially means that if somebody now DDoSes your Minecraft server, they're not just DDoSing a server somewhere at a hosting company. They are DDoSing you your PC. So using this method instead of hosting a Minecraft server at a server hosting company for sure comes with a higher risk. But if you're just going to use this Minecraft server to play with a couple of friends that you trust and you know, this should be no problem at all. And that is going to be all for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. Also, a massive shout out to my channel members for the incredible support thank you guys so much and then i will see you in the next one bye bye